Hello friends, guess who? Lisa Short, here to read you one of a series of books that I'm pretty sure you've heard before and love. This story is called, If You Give a Cat a Cupcake. And are you thinking, hey, that's just like the story, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, or If You Give a Moose a Muffin. Exactly. Same author, a lot of stories. This is the one that I chose to read. The author is Laura Numeroff, and the illustrator is Felicia Bond. Okay, lots of times I ask you questions, and of course I can't see you if you're raising your hands, but it's just fun to do. So raise your hands if you like cupcakes. I like chocolate cupcakes with chocolate frosting. Pretty much all chocolate. What kind of cupcake do you like? Well, Laura Numeroff dedicated this one to Lily and Petunia with Love. And Felicia Bond, the illustrator, dedicated it to Donna and Phil Hinko. If you give a cat a cupcake. So I guess, let me take the cover off. It might be easier to read without that on. I guess I'm going to dedicate this to everyone who likes cupcakes. If you give a cat a cupcake. He'll ask for some sprinkles to go with it. So when you give him the sprinkles, he might spill some on the floor. And cleaning up will make him hot. So you'll give him a bathing suit and take him to the beach. And he'll want to go in the water and build a sand castle too. He'll find a few other things as well. He'll put them in his pail and try to pick it up, but it will be too heavy. So, He'll decide he needs to work out at the gym. First, he'll warm up on the treadmill. Then he'll lift a weight or two. And he might even try a karate class. After the gym, he'll want to go to the park. When you get there, he'll see the rocks. He'll climb as high as he can go, and at the top he'll see the lake. He'll want you to take him rowing. He'll be the captain, and you'll have to row. Then he'll notice the merry-go-round and want to go for a ride. He'll want you to go for a ride, too. You'll choose the horse with the purple mane, and he'll get on the whale. The whale will remind him of the science museum, and he'll ask you to take him there. First, he'll find the dinosaurs. Then he'll visit the Hall of Apes. When the museum closes, you'll be the last to leave. On the way home, you'll pass by the beach. You'll help him gather all of his things, and then he'll want to race you.
when you get home, he'll empty the sand from his shoes. He might spill some on the floor. And seeing the sand on the floor will, will remind him of the sprinkles. You're right. We'll probably ask you for some. My favorite. And chances are, if you give him some sprinkles, he'll want a cupcake to go with it. I used to love reading this because we'd get to the page where it said, and chances are, and then my students would say the rest of it. And we used to even write stories using the way that Laura Numeral, who's the cover, <laughs> wrote the stories. And I used to tell my students, sometimes that's misassured at home. I start one thing, and then it reminds me of something else. So then I do that, and then it reminds me of something else. But these are great stories. I don't know how many more I have, but if I don't, and if you like them, and I can tell by the views that I get, I'll get some more. I'm pretty sure I have if you give a mouse a cookie. I mean, that's just a classic. So I will be sure to read that one in the future. All right, so that's dedicated to everyone who likes cupcakes. Thanks for listening again, friends, and I will see you next time. Bye.